Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support. And in this video, what I want to talk about is a common error with, with sublimating on the products. It's something what we call shadowing. Uh, get the call, hey, my image look like, looks like it's doubled, meaning that you're seeing a shadow. Uh, you're seeing your image and you're also seeing a shadow with it, meaning there's a, some sort of shifting involved. Uh, and I want to talk about what causes shadowing with, with sublimation. Okay, so one of the things that causes shadowing would be not letting your, your media dry. If you have a high resolution media, say for instance text print, text print R, or if you're using jet coal paper, shadowing can be caused by not allowing the paper time enough to dry, turning it over onto your substrate, and while the ink is still wet, uh, you're shifting that media around to get it lined up with your template. That's one way to cause shadowing. So keep in mind wet ink is transferring onto the product before you press it. Also another way to cause shadowing would be a pre-press. So with some of the products our instructions call for a pre-press. If you don't allow after the pre-press time enough for that product to cool down and you take your image and you turn it over onto, the, onto a hot surface, immediately these inks are activated by heat. If your image is not lined up correctly, then you've went ahead and you've started the transfer process. Without lining it up, you line it up, press it again, you're going to see some double imaging, which is what we call shadowing as well. Uh, another way to prevent shadowing is make sure you use Pro Spray use the appropriate amount of pro spray. Pro spray is applied to the transfer, not the product. If you want to know how to use pro spray, look to our video on how to use pro spray correctly on Condi TV. We have a video on using pro spray. And another final way of, that causes shadowing is lifting your press up too fast, image drops back down. I've done it, we've all done it. Uh, we get to that last second, timer goes off, we lift the press up and it creates a vacuum and drops the image back down. And when that happens, you, it, shifts, it shifts the media, causing the ink to transfer in, in other areas, and that creates a shadowing effect as well. So several things that can cause shadowing, not using heat tape, not using pro spray correctly, uh, double imaging due to pre-pressing, not allowing the product to cool down, and also wet ink. So these are some of the common errors that cause shadowing. So make sure that you're aware of them. If you have any questions, anything, any concerns that you want to talk about shadowing, look to our documentation. You can also give us a call here at Condi. My name is Vicki and anyone in my department can talk to you and help you through this, okay? So thank you for your time.